Now the title of this video may have been a little misleading but that was just to grab everyone's attention because it could have ended up that same way. I took this opportunity to make it a little education for some people who don't know how to time when a female is in heat where she could get pregnant, get bred and um, some people as soon as they start to see the female dripping blood they lock her up. I actually when a female is dripping and she's starting to come into heat I leave her with the other dogs because at that point those first set of days nothing can happen they don't sometimes the male doesn't even show interest as yet they kind of hang around but when it, uh, like for the first week you're safe um, after a week I would separate the dog from the male dog the female dog from the male dog so but this here now um, I let her out after a week of being locked up and I was I was checking everything we made sure she went to the vet at the end of the there's the machine there and what we see in is she has some type of fluid in the by the uterus so definitely gonna be putting on some antibiotics. Yes girl The day we came back from the vet when she did the ultrasound, we were just checking something with her discharge. Um, you know, so we will confirm everything is fine, she's back to normal. I let her out into the yard, and he was going mad at her because the, the pheromones, or, or is it the smell was still on her, but she was leading him on, she was jumping on him, as you had seen in the video. And then gets him excited and then when he starts jumping around and climbing up on her, she's all out, you know, she crying for rape, roll over on her back. Um, what is what else is another thing with this? Sometimes people mistime the heat and release and introduce the dogs too soon and thinking that their dog is out of heat because they stop seeing blood, but sometimes they're still in heat and then the male would still stick them and sometimes to the end of the heat is when they're in the prime and guarantee the, uh, that one bounce they're gonna have puppies so that was just it there for me just a little fun video um, but be careful with mixed breed dogs because I don't believe in mixed breed dogs although I have mixed breed dogs because they tend to get the worst treatment they, some people say they have no value, so they kind of give them away. The people who get them, get them for free. They say, well, I didn't pay anything to this. If you buy a dog, you're more intent to take care of it. Uh, get it free is like anything. And so I, you know, I, I don't believe in that. If you had to get a mixed breed dog, but say you had up a dog or something like that. Don't be purposely breeding mixed breed dogs. There's enough mixed breed dogs that look in for homes. So that was just my little thing. Now a good practice is to spay and neuter your dogs as they always do. But sometimes you intend some point in time to breed the dog. So you don't spay it, but you're not ready for that yet. Or maybe you haven't found the, you didn't find the right males yet. But this is something that I see a lot. Where some people don't know how to keep their female dogs locked up and how to time the heat to make sure that she doesn't end up having puppies because not everybody wants to have puppies sometimes you may want to have puppies but the time is not right so you try to lock up the dog and or you lock up the male and you have the female outside or you lock up the female and have the male outside or, vi or you alternate them always better to lock up the female because sometimes you lock up the male and you have the female running around in the yard and a dog comes from wherever and gets in your yard and you look outside and see a stray dog stuck up on your nice dog that is the most frustrating thing a, a person could come through because now you're saying now you're going to have all these puppies that are mixed breed so what happened here so please if anybody ever had any kind of issue like this you know let me know um I'm new to YouTube, so uh, I guess you would have to say a uh, comment below if you ever had any unexpected puppies or or some people saying you didn't even know that the female was pregnant. And the worst thing I found out, the worst thing to do is if your dog accidentally gets lined with a male, the worst thing you can do is carry that dog to a vet 
and try to get them to injection like a morning after pill. That is now considered malpractice, but some vets still do it. So be careful. It's considered malpractice because it messes up the female's system. This exact female, that is what I did with her, and she didn't have any puppies, but you would believe that she we took years of treatment and antibiotics to get her to conceive and make puppies, and when she did, she made one. One very nice puppy, but that's just it there. It was a whole mess. They say it does more harm than good, so better you let them make the half-breed puppies and breed her to a full breed next time. See how she has the tail still bent to the side? She's still probably horny, but when she was in heat, full heat, that tail was stuck like like a right, like a 180 degree angle. Ooh, ooh. Never fathered anyone. Comes Miss Jealous. She do. She's not amused. <laughs> She's not amused. She's like, yeah, let's do whatever you want. And you're rumpling my. Yeah. <laughs> and girl? Yeah, blue eyes. <laughs> 